send again. I've been sending up and down the coast from Sarasota to the Everglades and still getting back the same dead air. There's nothing. There's nobody, or at least nobody with a radio. All right, then let's set down. We'll use the bullhorn. Set down? Wait a minute, that's not in our contract. It's the biggest city within 150 miles. We're going to give it every chance. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Set down, John. I'll set us down. But I won't leave my seat, and I'll keep the engine running. Now, the first sign of trouble, I'm going up. If you ain't on board when that happens, you likely to have a lousy afternoon. <laughs> to safety. Please answer my call if you can hear me. Forget Billy Boy. It's a dead place. Like all the others you know. Listen. You can hear it over the engine. Jesus, man. Joseph.
think? Yeah, yeah. A bunch of real estate for sale at close at prices, man. Gas up the machine. She's down to fumes. No, wait till it's dark. There are too many of them out there. Hey, hey, it's no good to leave the gas tank empty. Suppose we need to get out of here in a hurry. Then we're shit out of luck. They're getting too riled up. Do it tonight when they can't see you. They know we're in here even if they can't see us. What good is it to leave the gas tank empty? The activity excites them. There are too many of them. There's more and more of them every day. If you get a lot more, come out and shoot some of them. Otherwise, stay inside the building. Stay out of sight. Thankful you live in the suburbs, Johnson. You ought to see how congested the city's getting to be. Miguel, come on, let's get below. Miguel, what can I do? Can you... What? Let me help. No, I, I don't need help. I don't need help. Come on, give me this. I'm all right. I'm just tired. You're not all right. You're collapsing from stress. You're now let me help. From stress? We're all collapsing. This whole fucking unit is collapsing, everybody except you. I know you're strong, all right. So what? Stronger than me. Stronger than everyone. So what? So fucking what? Major Cooper. He died this morning. And then there were 12. Burial this morning. That's why there's so many of them. And what's going to bring them tomorrow, sir? And the next day, and the next day after that? There are hundreds of them out there. Thousands. A million of them. You stick your head in the sand, they're going to come up behind you and bite off your ass. This is bullshit what we're doing here. It's crazy. If we've got an alternative to what we're doing, we'd be happy to listen to it. I got an alternative. Yeah, yeah, I got an alternative. Let's get in that old whirly bird there, find us an island someplace, get juiced up, and spend what time we got left soaking up some sunshine. How's that? You could do that, couldn't you? With all that's going on, you could do that without a second thought. Shit. I could do that even if all this wasn't going on. How far up the coast did you go? 100 miles each way. Jump in here, soldier. We gotta bring in two more dumb fucks. Let's go. Two more? What's Logan doing to them in there? Get in here, soldier. It's been awake for 24 hours. Can't you get anyone else? What anyone else? There isn't anyone else. We're it. Two of you can't go in there alone. It's too dangerous. Christ. I'll go. What's the matter with your friend there? There's nothing the matter. All right, let's go. You guys are ready to get some of those plus frame bags and shit, right? You got it, Steve. 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 You got it, You got it, You got it, You got it, Steve. You got it, Steve. You got it, Steve. You got it, Steve. You got it, Steve.
this shows the 15th is the last time you took any out. That can't be right. Oh, yeah, we forget to write them up sometimes, you know. You've got to write them up. It's essential. Can't you get that through your thick skull? How the hell are we supposed to keep track of how many we got left? Scared. You know what'll happen when Frankenstein gets them. If you're right, Rickles, then they're learning. They're actually learning. Come on! Come and see what I got for you! Come on, you dick faces! Here's a nice one hanging! Come on! Come and get it! Come and try to bite it on! Sit still! Whip it out! That'll bring them on! Fucking A! Biggest piece of meat in the cave. I don't want to excite the lady, though. Not with her boyfriend around. You're incapable of exciting me, Steele, except as an anthropological curiosity. Oh, what the hell's that mean, Rick? It means you're a caveman, asshole. You're a fucking throwback. You've been spending too much time underground, huh? <laughs> it's okay, Steele. Throwbacks all got big dicks. <laughs> oh! <laughs> All right, you dumb fucks! Get out there, you scumbags! Your old pal Steel wants to see ya! Come on! Shit. Come on. You're not strong enough for up here. Send up the pole. I'll watch out for lover boy. Don't worry. What do you mean I'm not strong enough? I've done it dozens of times. I don't want you up here, lady. Send up the pole. They're getting closer. He's collapsing, for Christ's sake. Look at him. Let go of the pole. Listen to me. Let go of the goddamn pole. Here they come. Let's go! Shit. You dumb fucking bags of shit, I'll kick your fucking asses, come on! Get me, what are you doing? 
Trying to help you, Miguel. Well, I don't need your help or anyone else's. You make me look like an asshole out there. You've made me feel like a piece of shit. You stay away from me with that, Sarah. You stay away from me. We've got to have sterile conditions. Half the work we do goes down the toilet due to contamination. You'll work with what you got, Fisher. But it's madness! Can't you understand I what understand we're... this. You and your playmates? You're running out of friends fast around here. Look. Major Cooper promised Major that Major we... Cooper is dead. I'm in command now. And I'm telling you that you work with what you got. And you better start showing me some results, or you won't have that very much longer. How can we show you results when we don't have the proper working conditions? We're in a desperate situation here. We need each other. Can't we just get you along? You need us the way I see it, lady. I'm not so sure we need you at all. Fucking A. I'm not even sure just what the hell it is you're doing in there. Just what the hell it is my men are risking their asses for. Well, maybe if there was more cooperation around here, your men wouldn't have to risk their asses quite as often. Miguel Salazar's in bad shape. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> I want him pulled off active duty for a while until we can evaluate his condition. Can't spare him. He's over the edge. He's turning into jello. Jello? That's the way his pigs say yellow. Jello! <laughs> Miguel is seriously disturbed. He's close to the breaking point, and that's dangerous for all of us. He can't handle any more stress right now. Well, maybe I should cut off his extracurricular activities. Maybe you're keeping him too busy at night. We're talking about a man's life here, you son of a bitch. And the lives of others he might put in jeopardy. Maybe I should put him in quarantine. How about it, Steele? You call it, Captain. I'll build him a cage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, might not be a bad idea. Give some of the rest of us a shot at some loving. Hey, it's gonna be a long winter. <laughs> Come on, Ted, let's get out of here. I'm calling a meeting for 7 o'clock tonight. I want everybody present. Everybody, lady, including Dr. Frankenstein and including your boyfriend. I gave him a sedative. He won't be awake. Look here, woman. I'm short on manpower. I won't have you going around doping up any of my men without orders from me. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Fuck you, sir. Out of the frying pan into the fire. I thought Cooper was an asshole, but he was a sweetheart next to Rhodes. We could be in real trouble. You better watch yourself. I mean physically, watch yourself. I can handle it. Don't worry, it's not going to come to that. We've just got to pound some logic into their heads. Impossible. Where's Dr. Logan? Frankenstein, he's in his laboratory. Where else? There's a loss of initiative. Caution. 
Many of the human cognitive functions, apparently the result of decay of the frontal, parietal, temporal and occipital lobes. On revival, the rate of decomposition is slowed substantially. Indications are that these beings could function over a period of years. In cases of early revival, 10 to 12 years before decay would threaten their mobility. <laughs> The brain is the engine, Sarah, the motor that drives them. They don't need any blood flow, don't need any of their internal organs. Now, I've severed all the vital organs in this one. There's nothing left of the corpse but brain and limbs, and still it functions. Look, Sarah, look. See, it, it wants me. It wants food, but it has no stomach. It can take no nourishment from what it ingests. It's working on instinct, a deep, dark, primordial instinct. Decomposition occurs first in the frontal lobes, the neocortex, and next in the limbic system, the middle brain. But the core, the core is the last thing to be attacked by the decay. It's the R complex, Sarah, that central bit of prehistoric jelly that we inherited from the reptiles. Here, I, I've gone into the center here and attacked the R complex discreetly. I've removed it from the equation in this course. I believe this creature would be benign even if it had its eyesight and its other senses. Its primitive instincts have been erased. It still has motor function. Probably still has powers of deliberation. It can be domesticated, Sarah, don't you see? It can be conditioned to behave the way we want it to behave. And all that's required is 15 hours of fancy surgery that only a handful of people are trained to do. I thought we were going to stop work on the neurophysical and concentrate on something more practical. These finds are central to the condition. I will not stop any work that might lead to an answer, let alone on an area that is central to the condition. But you're just proving theories that were advanced months ago, and you're not even proving them correctly. You're making a lot of assumptions here. You're wasting time trying to define what's happening instead of looking for what's making it happen. And just slicing up too many specimens. It's extremely dangerous to go up on top and round them up in the wild where we can't control them. What happened to this one? It was too unruly. I couldn't handle it. I had to destroy it. We can still get information from it. Dr. Logan, we are losing the cooperation of the men. I'm not even sure they'll go up top when we run out of the specimens we already have. I'm not sure they won't just try to shut us down completely. Well, I'll show them results. I'll show them results. I'll show them that these creatures can be domesticated even without the surgery. Knowing what they are, we can begin to approach them properly, condition them, control them. We've got to do this, sir. It's our only hope. Yes, this is Major Cooper. I needed him, sir. He's helping us more now than he ever did when he was alive. But I saw the grave. They buried one of the specimens. Jesus, God, Logan. Do you know what they'll do to you if they find out about this? Do you know what they'll do to all of us? They'll never find out. He can't be recognized. Or short, high band, or low, I can't raise anybody. How can that be, McDermott? There must be other groups like us. Somebody else must be trying to radio. Yeah, what the hell is this, man? Maybe we are the only ones left. Oh, I'm sure there's others. This is not the best place to be sending from. And a lot of the equipment I'm using has been rotting down here since the Second World War. Well, it's up to you to get it working right. 
Lay off the fucking booze for a while, why don't you? And get somebody on that fucking horn. Pronto. Well, if we stay down here long enough, I'll have to lay off the fucking booze still, because there won't fucking be any of it fucking left. In the meanwhile, I will continue to indulge myself, and I will continue doing my best in the good fight against dry rot and rust. Yeah? Well, your best ain't good enough, asshole. Do you think I'm not aware of our situation? Do you think I want to stay isolated down here? You know, I'd make a desperate effort to raise somebody just in the hope of getting away from your nasty mouth, Steele. The fact is... The fact is... Either we are the only ones left. Or there's nobody within range of my puny little Second World War signals. We used to talk to Washington all the time. They could hear us then. We were on relays then. We weren't over the air. You know, the power's off in the mainland now, in case you haven't heard. And all the shopping malls are closed. We don't appreciate your fucking jokes, old man. Keep it up. And I'll shove that bottle of yours right up your wise ass. I've got better things to do than listen to this kindergarten. Are we finished here? No, we ain't finished here, lady. Sit down. What else do you want? We've given you the reports for this week. We've given you You've everything you've asked You've given us a for. mouthful of Greek salad. Formulas, equations, a lot of fancy terms that don't mean a thing. I want to know if you're doing something that's going to help us out of this deep shit we're in. Or if you're all in there just jerking each other off. She don't have to jerk off like the rest of us, Captain. She got herself an honest-to-God dick to get off on, huh? <laughs> it may be yellow, but it's still a dick! <laughs> I said we ain't finished here, lady. Sit down. Sit down or so help me God, I'll have you shot. You what? I said... I'll have you shot. Have you lost your mind? No, ma'am. Have you? I just told you I was willing to kill you if you didn't get back in your chair. You didn't get back in your chair. God damn it! You can't shove us around like this. Since when did this become a military operation? Since I took over. Steele, shoot that woman. Bang! You're dead! <laughs> Shoot that woman or you're dead. You think I'm fucking around, Steve? You're wrong. Now you got till a count of five and that's two you wasted. That's three. Four. Sit down, Sarah. What is this? Shut up and sit down. That's five, Steve. All right. All right! No! Anybody else have any questions about the way things are going to run around here from now on? This ain't a goddamn field trip, people. This is a fucking war! I'm not down in this cave for my health. I'm down here on orders. Your orders are to facilitate the job of this scientific team. This is a civilian team, Captain, and we don't have to be subjected to your tyranny. Who's being subjected to what, Fisher? You've lost one man. Yeah, right. We've lost five. Yeah. Where does it say we gotta keep those dumb fucks next door to where we sleep? Where does it say we should do any one thing but shoot the mothers in the head? We don't have enough ammunition, Captain, to shoot them all in the head. Time to have done that would have been at the beginning. 
No, they let them overrun us. They have overrun us, you know. We're in the minority now. Something like 400,000 to one by my calculations. I haven't eaten, is there food? You were supposed to be here at seven o'clock sharp, mister. I know, Sarah told me, I'm sorry I couldn't break away, is there food? Listen, egghead, let me bring you up to date Excuse on what's me. been, let Excuse me. Excuse me, is there food? I'm running this monkey farm now, Frankenstein, and I want to know what the fuck you're doing with my time. Because if we're just jerking off here, I'm going to have my men blow the piss out of those precious specimens of yours, yeah, and we're going to get the hell out of here and leave you and your highfalutin asshole friends to rot in this stinking sewer. Is that food enough for you? Where will you go, Captain? You can destroy my specimens, but what about the millions more that are waiting to greet you outside? Do you really think you can blow the piss out of them? All of them? They have you in a hopeless situation strategically. You're lost. Well, you're lost unless... Unless what? Unless what, Frankenstein? Unless you can make them behave. <laughs> oh, yes. This is a fucking loony bit. I ain't being paid enough to work in a fucking loony bit. I ain't being paid at all. <laughs> hey. What's your last paycheck, Steel? Hey. Yes, yes. yes. All right, yes. Just shut up. Just shut up. What the hell are you talking about, Frankenstein? I'll be able to show you soon enough. Sarah knows. She's seen the progress I've been making. Isn't that right, Sarah? Yes, there's been some progress. What kind of progress? What are you talking about, make them behave? What does that mean? It means keeping them from wanting to eat us, for one thing. It means keeping them in check. It means controlling them. Controlling them. When are you going to show us something that we can understand? Very close, very close. I think in a matter of weeks... I don't think there's any way you can tell how long anything is going to take. It could be months, it could be years before we know exactly what we're dealing with here. Sarah's research, Sarah's research is more esoteric than mine. She's looking for a way to reverse the process, a way to eradicate the problem. It could take a long time, a very long time. She may never find what she's looking for. We have a limited supply of chemical agents. Our equipment is hopelessly inadequate. McDermott doesn't have decent radio gear? Now you're telling me that you don't have the shit you need? We're running low on ammunition. We're running low on men, for Christ's sake. It was very rushed. This operation was put together in a matter of days. Lord, yeah, well, it can all be taken apart in a matter of minutes, lady. And I'm here to tell you that I'm ready to do that little thing. I'm ready to take the next train out of here. I ask you again, Captain. Where will you go? You have no choices. You'll have to give us the weeks that we've asked for. You have to give us however long it takes. Look, there have to be survivors in Washington. Oh, my They ass. have more sophisticated shelters than this one. Oh, there have to be people in those shelters who know about us, who know where we are. With no radio contact, they'll come looking for us. I said shut up! got a little more time. A little more, I ain't saying how much. But you better start showing me some results and you better not piss me off. You understand? Nothing happens around here without my knowing about it. And anybody fucks with my command, they get court-martialed they get executed. You better know I mean it too, people. Can you get that to my roll? Sure. 
He wouldn't have done it. I can't believe he would have done it. No, he wouldn't have done it. He would have had steel do it. He can't be that inhuman. No, he's human. And that's what scares me, you know. He won't shoot Billy, because he doesn't have anybody else who knows electronics. He won't shoot me, because I'm his ride. He probably won't shoot old Frankenstein, because the old doc can talk him silly. But the rest of you, better start worrying, you know. Maybe if we tried working together, we could ease some of the tensions. We're all pulling in different directions. Well, that's the trouble with the world, Sarah, darling. People got different ideas concerning what they want out of life. Just as afraid as I am. Why don't you take a sedative, Sarah, so you can sleep? You're full of shit, Sarah. You know that you're really full of shit. Screw it with you. Fine, then. Get out. Filled it up. Got a refill as well. No, thanks. I'm all right. Really. It's just brandy. Good for the heart. Shit for the heart, and it eats up your liver. Out the back. Hey, Pue. 
Well, what do you know? Welcome to civilization, Sarah. The last hole out. Pretty nice. Nicer than we got inside. <laughs> Not a bad idea. It's a little safer where you are. But we like to live dangerously, Billy Boy and me, you know. That's a laugh. I haven't seen you do anything dangerous since we got here. We're sticking around. That's getting a bit dangerous. I hope you notice this evening. You're a mystery to me. You really are. Not like those other goons in there. You have a sense of... Of what? <laughs> Never mind. No, 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 come on, let's talk about it. No, I came down here to get drunk. I don't have the energy. Hey, hey. It takes more energy to keep quiet than it does to speak your mind. Go ahead. Let go of what you got now. You were sent down here to do a job. My job is to fly the whirly bird. I've been doing that job just fine. You have the protection of this facility, you eat our food, you drink our water, and you don't lift a finger to help. Neither one of you. <laughs> we don't believe in what you're doing, is Sarah? all the keep down here in this cave. Man, they got the books and the records of the top 500 companies. They got a defense department budget down here. And they got the negative for all your favorite movies. They got microfilm with tax return and newspaper stories. They got immigration records and census reports. And they got official accounts of all the wars and plane crashes and volcano eruptions and earthquakes and fires and floods and all the other disasters that interrupted the flow of things and the good old U.S. of A. Now, what does it matter, Sarah, darling? All this filing and record keeping. We ever gonna give a shit. We even gonna get a chance to see it all. This is a great big 14-mile tombstone. With an epitaph on it, that nobody gonna bother to read. Now here you come, here you come, with a whole new set of charts and graphs and records. What you gonna do? Bury them down here with all the other relics of what once was? I'm gonna tell you what is. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you what is. You ain't never gonna figure it out. Just like they never figured out why the stars are where they're at. It ain't mankind's job to figure that stuff out. So what you're doing is a waste of time, Sarah. And time is all we got left, you know. I'm doing. It's all there's left to do. Shame on you. There's plenty to do. Plenty to do. So as long as it's you and me and maybe some other people, we could start over. Start fresh. Get some babies and teach them, Sarah. Teach them never to come over here and dig these records out. Hey. You want to put some kind of explanation down here before you leave? Here's one as good as any you like to find. We've been punished by the Creator. He visited a curse on us. So we might get a look at it. What hell was like. Maybe he didn't want to see us blow ourselves up put a big hole in his sky. Maybe he just wanted to show us he was still a bus man. 
Maybe he figured we was getting too big for our bitches. Trying to figure his shit out. Something called beef treats, which the army provides us with so generously. He won't touch it. Shit, I wouldn't either. Sorry. We're fresh out of filet mignon. What is this? Part of Logan's plan to try and socialize these things? He told me himself they don't need for nourishment. What are we hoping for here? Hoping to satisfy the urge. You see, Sarah, they are... They are us. They are the extensions of us. They are the same animal, simply functioning less perfectly. They can be fooled, you see. They can be tricked into being good little girls and boys, the same way we were tricked into it, on the promise of some reward to come. They have to be rewarded. Reward is the key. I'm convinced of that now. Come, I've got something to show you. That wasn't very nice, you know. That wasn't very nice at all. Let's go. And you can just sit there in the dark and think about what you've done. Think about it. Think. Call him Bub. That's what the club fellows used to call my father. Can you imagine a surgeon called Bub? Well, nobody seemed to mind, though. Well, he was rich. My father was rich. He used to say that I'd never, I'd never be rich doing pure research. I'd never be rich. Uh, Bub's been responding so well lately, I've let him live. Well, is he alive or dead? <laughs> well, that's the question these days, isn't it? Well, let's say that I let him continue to exist. Hello, Bob. <laughs> Here's some toys for you. Some nice things for you to play with. You remember them from before? From before. <laughs> I've seen the other things before, but the book is new.
remembers. He remembers everything that he used to. Oh, I'm very pleased. Very pleased. What's he trying to prove? I saw one of those things sitting in a car in D.C. trying to drive down Independence Avenue. It didn't make me want to be its friend. What's oh, amazing is not what this one does, but what he doesn't do. What do you mean? He doesn't get excited and doesn't get agitated when Logan walks in the room. He doesn't see Logan as... Lunch. Dinner. <laughs> Having fun? What's he doing in Don't need that, Captain. He's quite docile. Come in. You can all come in. Bub won't mind. Say hello. Come on, Captain, give me a break, will you? Say hello to your Aunt Alicia. Mm -hmm. Say hello, Aunt Alicia. Hello, Aunt Alicia. Hello. Return a salute and see what he does. You want me to salute that pile of walking pus? Salute my ass. Your ignorance is exceeded only by your charm, Captain. How are we going to set an example for them if we behave barbarically ourselves? Take the bullets out, please, and let me have your pistol, sir. It's empty, Captain. We saw the bullets come out. Let's see what he does. Let's, let's see what Bub does in this situation. rewarded, Captain. Why else will they do what we want them to do? I don't want them to do anything but drop over! Yes, well, apparently they're not inclined to do that for you, Captain. Is this your progress? Is this the shit that's supposed to knock our socks off? It's the beginning, yes. It's the bare beginning of social behavior. Of civilized behavior. Civil behavior is what distinguishes us from the lower forms. That's what enables us to communicate. To go about things in an orderly fashion without attacking each other like beasts in the wild. Civility must be rewarded, Captain. And if it isn't rewarded, there's no use for it. There's just no use for it at all. Got it? Hey! You got it? 
got it. Joseph. Get out of the way, baby. No. I amputated the infected area. I think I caught it in time. Yeah? But what if you didn't? If I didn't, I'll shoot him myself. It's the spick. Yellow son of a bitch. It's his fault this happened. It's his yellow fucking fault. Get out of the way, bitch, or I'll go right through you with this. We're getting to make this a habit, man. Pointing guns at each other, you know. We just lost two men because of this motherfucker. Well, that kind of evens the odds between us then. Spick's been bit, Captain. We gotta blast him. He's been bit. I got the infection in time. That's bullshit, lady. I've seen a thousand of them. He's gonna die. If he dies, I'll destroy him myself. Unless he gets you first. You may still want to sleep with him. I don't want him inside the complex. We'll keep him out here. We got got to blast him, Captain. That'd be doing him a favor, Steel. You think he wants to walk around after he's dead? 
You think he wants to be one of those things? Think about it, lady. And think about this, all of you. From now on, you ain't getting shit from me and my men. Tomorrow morning, we're going inside that corral, and we ain't coming out till every one of those rotten piles of garbage has been wasted. Come on, Steve. Malas Manaka, try it on. Thanks. I have to go to the lab. He's going to need some morphine. I want some other supplies. I'd better go along. I'm sure those boys haven't calmed themselves down yet. I'm sorry I said those things about you. I'm sorry, too. Really? Well, what do you know? We are heroes after all. What a relief. Sarah. You might not make it, you know. We gave him a chance. I'll keep an eye on him. Hey, you guys be careful. You're not back enough an hour. I'm coming up to look for you. They'll leave us alone. Half an hour. We'll be back. Resident surgeon has been burning the midnight oils. What the hell has he been doing down here? Slaughtering cattle? In his mind, that's probably not far from the truth. Just 
five minutes. My God. Oh my God. No, Sarah, don't! It'll just bring out robes and the men. Leave it be, leave it be. Let's go. Let's get out of here. I'm beginning to think we should take that helicopter before somebody else does. I don't believe it. Logan's star pupil. Now, tomorrow, we can play with these things again. Now it's time for your reward. I bought you something good. What is that?
Hold it right there, Rhodes. Frankenstein's dead. This scum gets it next unless you throw your weapons out right now. He means it, Johnny. He killed Logan in cold blood. I killed Logan because he was a butcher. I'll kill the rest of them one at a time unless you get your black ass out here, flyboy. Get his machete. We're getting out of here right now. You give me any shit about it, I blow his head off. Woolly bird can't hold us all. Us all ain't going. Me, my men, you, that's it. You'll never get me to do that, Rhodes. <laughs> Shove him in there. Rhodes, don't do this. Please. You gonna give us a ride, Flyboy? I'll do whatever you say, man. Let him go now. Take you wherever you want to go. Like you said, Chopper can't hold us all. Rhodes, don't do it. You do it and I won't fly. I swear you can't kill me before I fly. Let him out. That's the deal. I make the deals around here, not you. Now you get your shit together, whatever you need. Isn't there an old silo back there? No, we can't go back there without guns. We can't stay here, they'll tear us apart. Oh, Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Don't shoot him! We need his ass. Steel, kick him around a little bit. Might knock some sense into that jungle bunny head. That's it. Run, you fucking lunatics. That's the elevator. Check it out. Jesus. 
Rock slide. We can't get through. Well, this way. We can try and get around. The only other controls up on the platform, the hand box. Jesus. Rickles, we can't get out of here. Fix it. Can't you fix it? That fucking spit that did this. Fix it. Come on, man. Fix what? Fix, fix the box, man. Come on, fix it. Fix what? Turn the fucking guts out of me, Rickles. I can't fix it. Controls out the little yellow bastard. The little fucking shit. You try to make a run for it.
this shit. Oh, you bitch!
bub. Man, you puss brain bag of shit. Want to learn how to shoot, bub? I'll teach you how to shoot. Come on, you bitch. <laughs>
They filled up the gas tank from the other night. Oh, my God. Come on, come on! Take my heart, my soul, my love. 